Okay, I'm test fitting a few parts. There's the turret, forward rocket launcher. There's the Mac. Got the davits on there. They're drying. Hangar, helicopter, aft rocket launcher. It's actually starting to look a little bit like a man of war now. to add uh, one more radar unit to the top of the Mac. Well, we uh, found uh, some drips, so we had to be sanded down and repainted, so we're still going to have to put a few more coats on the keel. Okay, after letting all those components harden, I uh, tack glued the Mac into place and uh, primed the entire ship, so it's almost ready for painting. Fortunately, I had to get one little thumb print on it. It's going to have to be sanded down and reshot, but other than that, it looks like the primer coat's taking pretty well. Uh, after this, we'll hit it with the uh, haze gray, and uh, then we will. Some of these areas will be uh, taped off, and will remain uh, dark gray, and then uh, some of the areas, mostly the deck areas on top and everything, uh, certain areas of the helipad and others will be have to taped off or masked off and uh, shot in black. The um, uh, brass components have been shot uh, again with another primer coat. Uh, this one will match the other, and then they'll be hit uh, with light gray prior to being attached. There won't, really won't be able to um, to do much with them once they're on. They're simply too too fine and too delicate. So that's any of the components, the uh, uh, gun mount and the rocket launchers and other things, and the helicopter have been primed, and then they'll be uh, painted after they harden. But uh, I'm going to give it a couple of days to harden, make sure that everything is, uh, that the primer is thoroughly hardened all the way through before I uh, try to sand it and then start uh, going with the other paint so that way it won't come off. There are a couple of different ways to go about it. I can either uh, use black decal for the uh, black areas, the walkways, and, or I can uh, tape off and mask and shoot. Uh, my resource material shows the Knox went through a variety of different paint schemes. Uh, some of them, the entire top of the Mac was... Uh, from that walk around ring all the way up were uh, black and others just the uh, superstructure and then of course it had different colors some were sort of a black some were gray and some were more of a, a sand color for the uh, surface areas that were walked on it really depends on when so I'll have to figure out exactly which scheme I'm going to go with and uh, there's also issues with uh, you know, whether to use decal or paint. So we'll, we'll address those as we move further on in the project. One part that's going to be a real trick is a lot of these uh, stanchions and everything, or these uh, towers, these wire towers, they have small railings that go around them. Those are going to be fun. But uh, that's all part of the brass work. We do have some of the brass work done already. Most importantly, of course, being the uh, radar arrays. And in the realm of unbelievable, while uh, Case tumbling some ammunition and using the reloader, the keel of the ship, which was securely up here above those models, in a box, drying, tumbled straight to the floor just from the vibration of reloading. You can see the box in the outline. And miraculously, it landed on trash bags and actually some uh, bubble wrap. So it managed unbelievably after all the catastrophes I had with it. It takes the worst fall yet and not even a scratch or a blemish. So now it goes securely on this shelf, secured as much as we can from gravity. And it's pretty much done until I attach the prop.